So can you like briefly introduce yourself for the watchers? Yeah, yeah, sure. So my name is Ming Hao Chen and I'm a Chinese citizen now studying in Switzerland. I'm doing my master degree in development studies and I'm in the second year of a master degree. So almost finishing this year. Um, yeah, that's basically my information. After moving from China to Switzerland, did you face any like cultural, environmental or social change challenges? Um, yeah, I think from it's mostly from the um, three perspectives. First is from the lifestyle, because before in China, you basically have just to study other stuff are prepared for you, like your daily life, your accommodation, also the food. So when coming to a different environment, you suddenly have to be rely on yourself entirely. So that would be a first challenge for me. And for the cultural challenge, because in Switzerland, it's mostly a very international environment. So I wouldn't say there's too much cultural shock because we have been exposed to kind of international culture right before I go went to Switzerland. So it's not that much, but there's still some um, nuanced points when you talk to people. Um, it's mostly like in China, it's mostly you kind of stay in your comfort zone, talk to your friends because you have built a supporting circle very well. Whereas in a um, completely different environment, you have to kind of approach people and also present yourself. Um, that would be kind of difficult for me in the beginning, but it works out afterwards. How did you like overcome these challenges that you faced like? Mm -hmm. um, I think because I saw your project is about um, negative um, motion, mental, uh, sorry, the negative emotions. So I think it was really important to dis distinguish between anxiety and depression. So I would say the challenges that I face is mostly anxiety instead of depression. So it's like very um, superficial level of kind of negative feelings. So what I did was that I talked to my friends and also talked to my previous friends because my new friend zone is kind of in making. Um, mm -hmm. But I feel like um, what I also did is that I talked to the um, psych psychological therapist in our school um, to talk about life and talk about the challenges I'm having. And she's, she's been really helpful. Um, and also I think um, what I did to overcome the challenges also to ask myself what caused this anxieties. So I would recommend to really do some introspections to see what actually caused your anxieties. And by solving that cause, it can greatly improve your experience in a new environment. Do you think that like the people around you face similar challenges? Uh, yeah, definitely. Um, I mean, I talk to pretty much um, every person I talk to that went abroad from China to um, European cities or the States to study, they all kind of went through a phase that is like the new close friend, core, like core circle of the friends in making and also challenges from academic world as well. So it's kind of, I wouldn't say common, but it's pretty much a lot of people experience this. Okay. Do you think they like dealt with it the same way as you did or did they use like different methods? Um, I think everybody have their own way, but the common strategy that people tell me is that you basically, keep a healthy lifestyle would help, like eating healthily, access regularly, talk to people. Yeah, but I think that is under the circumstance that you are not depressed because if you are in that stage, you wouldn't be able to motivate yourself to even live in a healthy style or motivate yourself to just went out and talk to people. So it really depends what your situation is. Um, okay. What kind of advice do you have for young people who are adjusting to a new environment? Um, I would say, just based on my personal experience, uh, I would say like get, you have to believe in yourself that you have the ability to adapt to a new environment and it takes time because it wouldn't be like done overnight. Maybe you have to take one month or even longer to feel comfortable in a new environment. And second, I would just say um, maybe make 
friends. It's it's like some this is an like knowledge everybody has, but I would suggest to keep yourself open because everybody experiences a certain kind of um, stress when you have to um, go socialize and go meeting meet with new people. Let me take this kind of new experience or new discovery as um, like to solve some mysteries or be curious about your life instead of like a pressure. You have to be your perfect, your, you have to be your perfect self. Maybe not think that way, but take it as life experience and just go easy. And um, yeah, and maybe also um, try to join some interest groups because even if you are in a, a completely new environment, you can find people who have same interest or same hobbies with you. And by doing that, I think it can greatly improve your mood level. And um, oh, and um, I, I would suggest people to keep their previous supporting system. Talk to your previous friends, your parents, your teachers, your just keep the supporting system by, by your side. Because you know you're not alone if you even if you go to a new environment. Mm -hmm. What are your goals and dreams for the future? What feelings have you had recently about working towards those goals? <laughs> that, that was a, a question that I always ask myself as well, um, because I'm studying international development. So my original goal is to work for the UN or international NGOs, because um, my current focus is on migration, but also I'm doing projects with um, concerning conflicts and also public health. So I would very much wish my career can be linked to solving these kind of um, developmental issues and uh, I'm excited about my future and uh, uncertain about what this, the stuff that I'm going to do but what I'm uncertain is about how I could achieve that and well I will be at while I'm doing these projects with these amazing organizations. Um, have you ever felt down like if so how do you cheer yourself up? Um, I play my instrument because I've been playing the Chinese instrument for basically my whole life. So it can help me relax um, and also um, cheer myself up. I think it's, it's a two layer question because first um, it, it is a logical question because you have to ask yourself what makes you feel down. So if you can solve that, you can um, kind of resolve the cause that results in your um, low in emotion. But then the second layer is like emotional. Uh, sometimes even if you find out the cause of, the of your um, negative emotions, you, can st you still cannot really get over with it. So I would say if you want to be like really emotionally over those negative feelings, uh, do sports, talk to people, do stuff you like to ease this kind of anxiety would be good, I think. Have you ever helped your friends cheer up? Like when they're feeling uh, Yeah, sure. I actually have a very, I have a friend who has been um, kind of downing her emotions for like two months. And uh, I think you also have a question about how did I kind of cheer them up? Um, I think the most thing that, uh, the thing that I do the most is just listen because sometimes they just need people to be around them to know they are heard and uh, provide some tiny little suggestions and to see how their acceptance with your suggestions as well, because if they kind of resisting that, maybe you just listen and uh, give them a hug and feel, to make them feel loved. And, um, but I think it also, it's like a case by case um, scenario. So my friend, she's, they are kind of in a low emotion because her research isn't progressing well. So by listening to her, kind of make her feel supported. And then she has kind of this energy to keep on with her study. So in the end, what really helped her, I think is by achieving something in her study. So what I did is just merely keep her going kind of, yeah. Uh, what advice do you have for young people like to deal with negative emotions? Um, I think first of all, like definitely cry for help. Like you don't have to deal with all these emotions together. And there are a bunch of people who's going through maybe the same thing with you. And also just 
look straight into your emotions. It's nothing to be shameful, shameful of to have fear or have um, negative feelings towards yourself. And also, there, I think there's like um, a gender bias because for boys, maybe they are more afraid to show that they are emotionally kind of not that positive and they're, they can be weak at a certain point, but they're just kind of fear to show that to others. So I would definitely advise that young people to look, seek for help, at least don't suffer alone. So we have started a nonprofit with like the mission of improving mental health among young people. So what is like some advice you would give us to help us achieve our mission? Um, I, I, I think it would be a really interesting to kind of combine the online and offline mode because it can help you approach more people. And also, um, I'm also curious about what kind of content you're going to provide with this nonprofit organization. It, it's more like um, peer help or like a forum, or it's more like providing prof professional um, consultancies for the young people who's undergoing some negative emotions. And I, I think it would be, I've never done anything similar to this, so I'm, I'm not sure if I can give you some valuable advice, but I think if um, maybe we can start with the neighborhood or start from the campus, so to kind of access more um, audience of this project. And, and also I think, because you're also a bunch of, um, a, a group of high school students doing this, so, I would suggest to also protect your, your feelings when you have to access kind of a lot of negative emotions from others because you have to kind of maybe read some um, context from those people you are approaching. So make sure you, all, you are also um, in a stable emotional status. Yeah, thank you. Um, yeah, thank you for your time. That's it. Have a nice day. It was really nice talking to you. Okay, great. <laughs> it was a great project. It is a great project. Bye.